There's a lot going on today, but before we fix it up, let's see what's going on with Naomi at San Diego Comic-Con. Hey guys, I'm here in San Diego bringing you the latest movie, TV, and gaming goodness at Comic-Con over the next few days. That's right, this is the SDCC update presented by The Strain, where we'll keep you informed on all the latest happenings at the show. And while the show is just starting, we have so many awesome panels to look forward to today, including the world reveal of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies, a better look at Gears of War Ultimate Edition, and The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, and updates on Doctor Who, Sherlock, and Street Fighter V. And let's not forget that the Rainbow Six Siege games are taking place here as well. All right, that all sounds pretty freaking good to me, so stay tuned for more right here on IGN. Now back to you, Destin. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain is the latest target of graphical downgrade accusations similar to the claims made against Watch Dogs and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. People are claiming that the latest footage for The Phantom Pain showcases missing shadows and different shallow colors from earlier builds of the game. As such, Phantom Pain game producer Kenichiro Imaizumi has responded to critics saying on Twitter, we don't change the great systems in the last phase. It had to be done a long, long time ago. It should just be lighting tuning, and if you know the game making process, we normally don't change or downgrade in this phase. That always has to come first. Good for you, Ken. Even if it's for a dumb gag, no one should ever downgrade their graphics. Jokes are fun. The Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta will begin August 19th on PlayStation 4. Treyarch Studios has revealed that players can get their hands on the first person shooter next month with more information about the beta coming soon. While the Black Ops 3 beta starts on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC players need not worry as it will roll out to those other platforms eventually. Now are you wondering how to get into the Black Ops 3 beta? We'll just pre-order the blockbuster shooter to gain access. Or don't pre-order anything ever again and stop the vicious cycle of DLC, add-ons, retail exclusives. No? You're gonna do it anyway? <sighs> Click the link below to reserve your copy today. Ubisoft might be prepping to bring the Wii U survival horror game Zombie U to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Twitter user LifeLower reports that Zombie, without the U, has been listed by the Taiwanese Game Software Ratings Board, adding further proof that a port of the game could be heading to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The Australian Classification Board also rated Zombie last month, and that's on top of an on-scene 64 report that Zombie is in development for current-gen consoles. I couldn't think of a zombie joke to put here, so here's one from a six-year-old. Where do you go to buy zombies? The Mon Store. Speaking of buying stuff, Turn 10 Studios has revealed 39, that's right, 39 new cars for Forza Motorsport 6, such as the 2015 Chevrolet Camaro Z28, 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge, and 1952 Ferrari 375. You can check out the full list of sweet rides coming to the Xbox One exclusive on IGN. And in case you didn't know, Turn 10 is promising 450 automobiles overall in the racing game. That's a lot of cars. Another day, another awesome giveaway brought to you by The Strain. To win a Strain t-shirt and DVD box set of season one, all you have to do is fill out the form and leave a comment below telling me how you would deck out your Vampire Hunter headquarters. Get creative, people. But wait, that's not the only giveaway for today. In fact, we're also giving away Rainbow Six Siege beta codes on IGN with the chance to win even bigger prizes like an Xbox One home console, gold edition copy of Rainbow Six Siege, and more. How rad is that? And that's your daily fix for July 9th. I'm Destin Legary, and remember you can get your fix anytime online here at IGN. <laughs>